So, uh, the pole started on the generator broke, and uh, the solar system battery pack wasn't working right. But hey, it's still a nice sunny day. Alright, for all my future grandkids, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I'm going to learn how to do it so I can teach you later on. <laughs> See that spring? It sprang all over. <laughs> okay, so this has to go in like that so it can hook onto this piece here. This clip here will hook onto that and that creates the tension. So now, clip that in there so it hangs on. I'm going to start winding it up. So what is this that you're working on? This is for the pull cord to pull start the, uh, the generator. And this is the first time I've ever had a pull cord tore apart. But the idea for the mechanism is pretty simplistic. This spring creates tension so that when you pull start it, mm -hmm. that it pulls itself back in. That makes sense, then why does that look? Aha. See this here slot right here? Yeah. It's perfectly designed to hold that right in place. And I was like starting and I was hooking it to one of these. I'm like, why does that not make sense? And I fingered it out. Oh, okay. And now is the fun part of just winding this in. Well, <laughs> so this stuff is boring for me. So I'm going to take you guys outside. And I don't know if it's boring for you, but it's boring for me we'll come back and touch base with him when hey boring it's boring hey, we'll come barn. back and touch base with him when i take you guys outside i'm going to show you a few things it is literally like a beautiful spring day out i am wearing just a very thin sweater so i had to go to the feed store yesterday and pick up some feed for the goats and chickens and turk um and i picked up a new water bucket this whole winter so we got a mount <laughs> It's my bad. We got a mount um, so we can hang the bucket so the goats don't knock them over. Well, we have so many problems with it. And when I was at the feed store yesterday, I was looking for other buckets for them. And I realized the mount that I got for the bucket was for flat back buckets, not round buckets like they have. So I am just going to fill this bucket up, bring him some water and some dinner, and I'm going to bring you along to do the night chores. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. Come on. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? Come on. I wonder. So do you guys Sometimes remember the baby chicks that we hatched out in the fall? We had um, two babes that made it. Uh, one or both of them were um, Azure Blue Mama and Wyandotte Papa. So I thought we had two hens, but I think now we have a rooster and a hen. Hi, Mr. Cash. But I have no idea. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea how to sex them. They aren't old enough to lay eggs. They will be soon if they're female. But if you guys know, please let me know. There they are, there. <laughs> hey guys. Um. Cash. Why is that? Oh, whoa. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> buddy. Oh, I'm going to have to shower. He's got poop in his boobs. I'm going to feed the goat first. 
I guess so. That's that was you're lucky that your arm didn't get. Yeah. Would you like me to do this? You really feel. <laughs> oh. Not much. They'll need way more. <laughs> That's not for you. <laughs> oh, <geez>. George. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get the chickens out of there. You wanna get up there? Oh, she does too. She's a limber little kitty. And this one, Miss June, she tends to get bullied a little bit more so by the other female. So she doesn't get as much as uh, the others do when it comes feeding time. So we like to feed her a little bit extra. Hey, baby. Hi. All the, all the chickens are like, um, excuse me. I know. So I recently decided to go with a pellet um, chicken feed. I'm gonna try it anyways, because some of the chickens are a little bit lighter in their combs than the others, so. Um, I want to make sure there's nothing wrong with them, so we're trying to give them all the nutrients that we need and, or they need and everything. So, look at them all coming in. It's dinner time! <sighs> but, as you can see, like, rooster is, some chickens are still back in the other barn, but rooster's comb is nice and bright. And some of these guys are nice and bright. She is, she's not. Um, and we have another bird in the barn that's very pale. This girl here, she's pale too. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But I am trying to, and she doesn't like, she's gonna go back in now that I'm not there. <laughs> she's a little chicken as well. And she's one that I want to get babies of. So, hopefully I can get one of her eggs, but I gotta get her feeling better first. This one came to stay with us in the house for a while. And ever since, she wants to stay in the barn and doesn't wanna go back out. Oh, and wants to be the goat house, or in the goat house. Mr. Mike knows that he can't go in the tunnel because his shoulder always hurts when he comes out and guess what he just did? What'd you just do, Mr. Mike? Stuff and things. Yeah. I love you, but I don't feel bad for you. We've gone over this. Yeah. Don't forget that red bucket when you come out. This also happened. <laughs> so... We had a major, pretty major, windstorm come through, uh, what, a month ago? Month and a half ago? Month and a half. Month and a half. It was before Mike's surgery. We had a major windstorm that had come through and toppled over our carport. And when we had somebody up a while back, they had organized all of Mike's wood in the carport and set it up all nicely. Do you remember that deal Mr. Wally gave us with all the wood? And we showed that video, I'll link it up above. Well, it was all stacked up nice. And then this happened with the windstorm. So <laughs> that happened, this happened and I can't zoom out. This happened. And that happened. So, all of that wood is gonna have to be resorted out again this spring summer. Once his shoulder's better, or they come up and help again. 
So right now, we're playing the guessing game. Is she pregnant? I'm gonna say yes. <sighs> I am thinking she is. If she is, she's due around the end of March. Um, so in the next couple of weeks, if she is uh, indeed pregnant, then um, we can tell. It's my first time, so I'm not an expert. If you have a sure tell way to, or a sure way to know if they're pregnant or not, um, other than like an ultrasound or something, let me know. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure she is. Her belly's a bit bigger. She's more firm around the belly, even in the mornings. Um, we know for a fact that she was bred twice by Mr. Cash. Um, so in a couple of weeks, if she is indeed pregnant, her udders will um, start to get a little bit fuller. Nowhere near near the end, but our hope with her is that we get milk. And we got to train her, so we got to start like now. So Mike's going to be building a milk stand. Well, we are going to be building a milk stand because he doesn't have a left arm. We're going to be building a milk stand very soon and we're going to start training her on it. And we're going to separate everybody so far. Everybody's been really good about living together, boys and girls. But that was just for this year only. We didn't care if they got pregnant. Um, the only one that really got picked on is Miss June, which is right here. But we've been giving her extra love lately. And I think what we're going to do is when it tum comes time to separate them, we're going to put her in with Malcolm, who is a, um, a fixed male. And the other two are not. The other boys, they are not fixed. So we'll have, if B is pregnant, we'll have B with baby. We'll have B or June and Malcolm living together. And maybe just on the other side of the barn, because like I said, Malcolm is withered. Um, Miss B will have this entire area of the barn, um, and the little, um, in here. <laughs> so we'll clean it all out, get it all ready and prepped for when she is due. And this whole section will be hers. And then Malcolm and Miss B, or sorry, I keep getting B and June's name mixed up. So then Malcolm and Miss June we will be on the other side of the barn. So they'll be over here and then they will have outdoor access here. And as far as the other two boys go, we're just going to build them a shelter for spring and summer. They're not getting a barn or anything and we'll figure it out. Um, over the winter, they'll probably be housed together again, but separate. But that is it. So if you guys have any ways to tell if a goat is pregnant that I don't know of, let me know. I know you could tell as they get older, more into the gestation. Aww. You see, she's off by herself. She's a little Miss Love Bug. She's so fragile and dainty, aren't you? Hi, babies. Hi. Oh, hi, Mr. Cash, your daddy. So this is daddy. Look at his hairstyle. Oh, that was cool. You just used the goat to get up there. Hi, baby girl. Hi. What's the matter? Look at you both. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, you love to scratches, don't you? I want Mr. Aiden, Blue Eyes. Yes. I want him to breed with Miss June. Yes, I think those two would be, make a super cute baby. Hi, Mr. Aiden. Hi. Hi, Mr. Aiden. Look at you, Mr. Cash. Look at your funky hair. We're going to have to cut that, huh? We'll have to cut it. Aw. You want me to scratch you? Welcome to our junk house. It should be on like that. Two bits on the top, yeah. 
All right. Paul said put one in at a time with your hands. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to make sure that it's going to catch. So once I get these threaded, I'm going to give her a test pull. Yeah. I'll have to shorten this cord up, but. That's okay. Oh, hold on. Ready? Here's right. the test. Oh, it's out of gas. It was out of gas. <laughs> but I shortened up my cable. I fixed it in it. It's for you kids. Tyler Parker. And future grandkids. And future grandkids. I, I can fix it. I figured, figured it out all myself. How to change a pull cord, but we didn't record the whole thing, so now you're going to have to show them in person. I know. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Uh, the battery bank was giving me issues and the pull cord on the generator had broken. So I got that fixed today. Um, I pulled the battery out, desulfonated it, and put it back into the, the system and then equalized it. Which I can describe that later in detail if you need. Um, hopefully that fixes everything. I won't know until tonight when I find out how the battery bank works. Yeah, because last night we ran out of power. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I've been having how issues long, with it. Um, so it was like two hours, wasn't it? It was, but I think that was because I pulled the one battery out and it had imbalanced the system. Yeah, so now and we I, didn't get to charge it properly. So we'll see. Cause yeah, we'll see. It's been on Equalize all day. We've had a nice sunshiny day. Give so a 20 second... What's Equalize? 20 seconds and go. Okay, Equalize is when you overcharge everything so it brings all the batteries up to peak level and they're all full at once and then the entire battery bank is equalized. And it acts as one battery instead of multiple? Or Correct. Kind of so, that, okay. During the overall usage, what happens is maybe one gets charged a little bit more than another and so you'll get an unequalization. So what you do is you overcharge everything, it charges all the way up to full and then everything gets fulled up and then you're back to balance. <laughs> that, when you went to raise your arms up, was so cute because you you could see where this arm just stopped. <laughs> One tries. So for all those wondering, how is it that you can use your arm and do this? It's because I can use this part of my arm while my muscle's working. It's just, I can't do this uh -huh. or this with any flexibility. That yeah, so as long as I'm holding my arm and I'm just using the grip muscles, which is all I was doing, I can do everything else with my right arm. We'll keep you up to date um, and on how everything's working out. Uh, so stay tuned. Until next time. Why does the rain he forgot always the keep on pocket. pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder